So last year we tier list ranked all of the uh, screen movies, but as of last year there were only five screen movies and part six just came out. We went and saw it, and so we decided that we would need to update our Scream rankings with six added in, so that's what we're going to do today. So first, before we get to our uh, ranking of this, what are some of the things that you liked about Scream 6? And spoiler alerts, everyone yes. I'm sure knows, but just in case. So what are some things you liked about Scream 6? Um, one of the things I liked is they did a way better job at having a different count of killers. But one of the things I disliked was that there wasn't two killers. Okay. So, so, <laughs> so but I mean, they did they did a good job of doing that, but there should have still been two killers, I think. One of the fun things about the Scream movies is trying to figure out which ghost face was being, who was the ghost face at different times mm -hmm. when there's multiple ones. And because of some unique scenarios in this one, when you go back, I think it's going to be fun to watch and try to figure out who was actually the ghost face. And that's one of the fun things. Mm -hmm. uh, something else that I liked about it was the subway se sequence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what I didn't like, was there any more you wanted to add? on? I didn't like how some of the characters got like stabbed like 15 times and then they were on their feet. like 1,500 times. Yeah. yeah. Like... That's definitely one of my dislikes. Critics and audiences seem to love this one, saying it for them. It's their second favorite. It's <laughs> the most common thing that I've heard. So what we're going to do is, since we already ranked the other ones, we're going to now cut to that video so that you can see where we ranked the other ones. We'll come back and then we'll rank six and see where it falls. So uh, right now, we'll go not back to the future, but forward to the past. <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, we're going to go in order that they came out and rank them either S, A, B, C, or D. First one, the original Scream. Definitely has to go S tier in my opinion. Just, you know, all around a fantastic movie. The plot twist at the end, I put it S tier. S tier. For me, it was incredible because I was, I guess, probably like 17 when it came out. Was a huge fan of the slasher movies, but they, they fell off quite a bit. And then Wes Craven brought it back. Um, but for me, I mean, it's a classic S tier. Sure, definitely. One of the greatest horror movies in my mind, slasher movies. All right. Scream 2. Which one was that? So it came out the next year. That's They went to college. Because Cotton Weary was in it, but it wasn't him. It was the mom. Remember the mom? It was the mom and the... Um... the the Yeah, the guy that was a horror movie fan. And that the one where, like, they, like the theater group or something captured. Yeah, it's the whole theater group. Yeah, because it ends up on the stage at the end. But it takes place at the college. I put that B. It's not a bad movie, but not that good of a movie. Yeah, when it first came out, I wasn't as big of a fan of it as when I rewatched it with you. I'm like, oh, it's pretty good. I, I definitely like it better now. For me, it's an A or a B. Um, you say a B, so I think it's a solid B. Um, yeah, it's what I consider a high B, low A, um, but I think it holds up. Scream 3, it takes place at a, at a mansion, like a Hollywood mansion. They all gather around. This is the one that I didn't like as much as the rest for a lot of reasons. One being the killings were impossible in my mind. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I did not. You know that what I'm was saying? That was for me. I did not like that one. Like, one of the things that I do like about the Scream series is once you find out who the killers yeah. are, or killer or killers, is then going back and trying to say, okay, this had to have been this killer. There's only like one killer. There was only the that, one. That, no, I did not like that one And all. he had to have teleportation abilities yeah. or, like, something. So, I, I, that, that was D tier. I did not like that one at all. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's not horrible, but if we're going to put, you know, something on a D, that definitely would be my it's my least favorite of all the Scream movies. Yeah. So I agree. It's fine putting it D. It's not a bad movie. The main thing I had was it's, it doesn't have as much rewatchable yeah. aspect um, to try to figure out who was the killer at which point mm -hmm. when they're tag teaming. All right. Scream was away for a bit, and then they came back after about a decade. Scream 4. That was the one with her... Cousin, cousin, her younger cut or niece or cousin, but yeah, played by Emma Roberts. And that actually fooled me because you know, she was like about to die, but she was actually the killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like the hospital then, like we thought it ended in the house, but then there was the hospital, and then 
Yep, that's exactly right. She she like got all messed up, but that was all part of her plan because her and her accomplice, it was kind of like a commentary on people wanting to be famous, like yeah. social media famous. Like they were using Instagram or it, well, it may not have been Instagram because that might not even have been around at the time, but they were trying to live stream and yeah. Yeah, get fame as a result of it. I liked it. There I was eight here. A tier, really? I, I think it's better than uh, the second one. So you like Scream 4 better than Scream 2? Yeah, personally. That might be a controversial opinion, except for that's also my opinion. That's my actually my second favorite Scream movie. I just thought it was very well made, and it brought it to a new generation. And touched, Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. A tier, Scream 4 taking it. Just called Scream. It's the fifth movie, but it was just called Scream again. What are your thoughts? I, I like it. I mean, I'm surprised that they actually had the same characters and all. And I'm surprised that one of them died. And A big th- character died, yeah. And I'm surprised... Again, like, it seems like he's always dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, yeah. <laughs> but this time, he's dead. Yeah, and um, <laughs> um, I, I thought it was cool that the, the jump scare where they were in the shower and all, and, <sighs> you know... Uh, uh, the the like mom, the police mom's running and he gets her and said like I, that was a, uh, probably the best jump scare in the whole entire series in my opinion. It got me good on that scene. And, uh, both of us didn't didn't even know who it, like one of the killers were. We know we, both of them were like people that we thought were the ones gonna get killed like like in like five seconds. And you know what I really you just reminded me. It's just called Scream. And you know how there's like Halloween and it's just called Halloween, like the original, but it's a, it's a sequel to the original, but it's kind of a a re, um, you know, it throws out a lot of canon of other stuff. So they're kind of touching upon that as well, because if you remember the whole plot of this one, the killers were trying to recreate, Mm. because, you know, like... They're trying to recreate the events that happened. Yeah, everybody was like related, like it was like the original killer, Stu and them... They were related, and, and they were going in the order of people getting, you know, there was some I like kind of that one actually. I say A plus. I say it's higher than Scream Four. Really? Yeah. So that's kind of I say A as well. So I guess the debate, we'll put it A. So it, it's definitely firmly A. So for you, you would put the the newest Scream above Scream Four. Yeah. I, th- I think probably more people would agree with you than me. I would have Scream Four higher than uh, Scream. They're both solid A's. So, you know, a tie for A. Yeah. There's no need to move anybody down to B or adjust anything. They're both solid A's in our opinion. And now we're back from the past. All right. What is your ranking for Scream 6? Uh, C tier. It fits right in. There's yeah. like, you know, it's like the puzzle, the two pieces <laughs> of the puzzle. C tier. Yeah. So in comparison to the other ones, that was your second. At least. Or, yeah. 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 Gotcha. <laughs> um, I think I put it. In the same spot, in the order that we have, this is my second least favorite. It does fit nicely at C, and if that's where you, you want it, I'm good with that. Um, but we are curious to hear what you think about Scream 6 or the other Scream movies. And until next time, bye. Bye-bye.